Have you ever pondered the existence of time or questioned if it's merely a societal construct? Let's dive right into it, shall we? Time, it's a concept so embedded in our lives that it's almost impossible to imagine a world without it. From the moment we wake up to the moment we lay our heads back down, time guides us. It dictates our schedules, our routines, our very lives. But what is time, really? Is it a tangible entity that exists independently of us, or is it a construct that we, as a society, have created to make sense of our world? On the surface, time seems like a universal aspect of human experience. Day turns into night, seasons change, and we all grow older. This rhythm, this cycle, seems to suggest that time is a fundamental part of our reality. But things aren't always as they seem. You see, philosophers, physicists, and sociologists have been wrestling with the notion of time for centuries. And they've come up with some truly fascinating interpretations. Some argue that time is an absolute, a constant ticking in the background of the universe. Others propose that time is relative, changing its pace depending on where you are and how fast you're moving. And then there are those who suggest that time is merely a social construct. They believe that time doesn't exist in the physical world, but is rather a tool that humans have created to measure and organize their lives. To them, time is an illusion, a figment of our collective imagination. Yes, the question of time's existence is a complex one, a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma. But fear not, we're here to explore these different perspectives, to delve into the minds of philosophers and scientists, to question, to ponder, and to try and untangle this enigma. So let's explore these different perspectives to try and untangle the enigma of time. Dive into the realm of physics where time is more than a ticking clock. Here, time transforms from an abstract concept into a concrete reality, a vital dimension that intertwines with space to weave the cosmic tapestry of our universe. Physicists view time not just as a sequence of events but as a fundamental facet of reality itself, a dimension as real as the three dimensions of space we are familiar with. From the dawn of classical physics to the age of quantum mechanics, the concept of time has been a cornerstone in our understanding of the universe. It was Sir Isaac Newton who first proposed that time was an absolute entity, marching forward inexorably, indifferent to the events unfolding within it. However, the perception of time underwent a revolution with Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. Einstein proposed that time was not absolute, but relative, depending on both the speed of a moving object and its proximity to a gravitational field. In other words, time can speed up or slow down. It's not a constant, universal tick-tock, but a fluid flow that can be influenced by gravity and speed. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, has been confirmed by numerous experiments and is a fundamental aspect of our current understanding of the universe. According to Einstein's theory, if you were to travel near the speed of light or linger near a massive object like a black hole, you would experience time at a slower pace compared to someone who remains stationary. Your clock would tick slower, your heart would beat slower, and you would age slower. Time, in this context, becomes a tangible, mutable entity capable of being stretched and squeezed by the forces of the cosmos. In the quantum realm, time takes on even more perplexing traits. In the bizarre world of quantum mechanics, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and their states can be entangled across vast distances, seemingly defying our everyday understanding of time and space. In the world of physics, time is a tangible, malleable entity, not merely a human invention. Now, Let's delve into the philosophical perspective where time becomes a subject of deep contemplation. There's a fascinating array of philosophical theories concerning time, each challenging our everyday perception of it. The first one we'll discuss is presentism. This view proposes that only the present exists, the past, it's gone, the future, it hasn't arrived yet. So in a presentist's world, time is a fleeting moment, forever slipping from the future into the past. It's a concept that creates a sense of urgency, doesn't it? Next, we have eternalism, which is almost the polar opposite of presentism. Eternalists argue that the past, present, and future are all equally real. They exist simultaneously, but we can only perceive one slice of it at a time, the present. It's like all of history is a film reel, and we're simply watching it frame by frame. Then there's the growing block universe theory. This one is a bit of a compromise between presentism and eternalism. It posits that the past and the present are real, but the future is not. 
The universe is growing with the passage of time, adding new moments of now to the block of existence. These theories may seem abstract, even absurd, but they challenge us to question our perception of time. Is the past real because we remember it? Is the future real because we anticipate it? Or is the present the only tangible reality sandwiched between the non-existent past and future? From a philosophical perspective, time's existence is not so clear-cut. It's not just the ticking of a clock or the turn of a calendar page. It's a deeply complex, multifaceted concept that intertwines with our consciousness, our perception, and our very existence. The question remains, does time exist outside of our perception, or is it merely a construct of our minds? This is the fascinating enigma that philosophers have been grappling with for centuries. From a philosophical perspective, time's existence is not so clear-cut. Finally, let's examine time from a sociological perspective, where it may be seen as a social construct. Societies throughout history and across the globe have created structures of time for practical purposes. These structures, whether they are calendars, clocks, or even the concept of a seven-day week, serve as tools for scheduling and coordination. They allow us to organize our lives, from the mundane routines of daily life to grand events that shape civilizations. These structures of time, however, are not mere tools. They also shape our behavior and perception of events. They influence our sense of urgency, our anticipation, our patience, and even our understanding of age and maturity. Think about it. We wait for the weekend, we count down to special occasions, we perceive someone as too young or too old based on socially accepted timelines. But what if we lived in a society with a 10-day week or a year with 600 days? Would our perception of time change? Would our behavior change? These questions highlight the power of socially constructed time. It is not merely a measure, it is also a molder of society and individual lives. In sociology, time is a man-made concept designed to organize society and our lives. But remember, while it may be man-made, it is no less real in its effects and implications. So, does time exist or is it a social construct? We've traversed the landscapes of physics where time is seen as an integral part of our universe. We've delved into philosophy, where time becomes a puzzling conundrum. And we've explored sociology, where time is viewed as a construct of human society. All these perspectives shine a light on the multifaceted nature of time. Whether time is a fundamental aspect of the universe, a philosophical conundrum, or a societal construct, it's clear that the question of time's existence is far more complex than it initially seems.